guys, Chassie and Greg here with our spoiler-filled review of Crisis on Earth X, the big CW DC crossover event that connected Supergirl, mm -hmm. The Flash, Arrow, and Legends of Tomorrow. Now before we do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because we're covering plenty more superhero content right here on the channel. We also have Star Wars, Rick and Morty here too as well. Warning, spoilers ahead, so please watch it first, then come back. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Chastity, what did you think of this large, expansive crossover? I thought it was amazing. It was the best crossover yet. It was so much fun to see all of these heroes come together and mm -hmm. take down Nazis. Nazis. I hate Nazis. How did you think it compared to the other crossovers? This is the best they've ever done for any TV show. It's so sprawling and expansive compared to anything else we've seen before, even Invasion last year. They had 20 characters on screen together. 20. A lot. Even if they weren't fighting, they had about like 14 characters together when they did their lineup walking outside. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 20 great. characters in one room together. Do you know how extremely difficult that is for production to do something yeah, like that? Yeah, one person misses their mark. It, yeah. They have to start over. 20 I, people. I think Brandon Ralph <laughs> said something that they had only a few characters for maybe like an hour mm -hmm. or less than that. So they really had to get it all together in one shot. Also, a lot of leather. There was so much <laughs> leather in, in this I can't crossover. imagine. <laughs> I wonder if they had, I'm sure they did Just have cleaners too, having to like clean off everything right then and there in the letter. Nope, there's dust there, yep. we gotta get that. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> and finally that little callback they had for Invasion, last year's mm -hmm. crossover, where they bring up the fact that uh, the Dominators are still around, yeah. little aliens, but then Kara gives this one line like, These guys are so last year. Okay, let's talk about the new characters. Yep. Who we got first? So we have the Ray, who mm -hmm. we've never seen before. And he <laughs> resides on Earth X, but he's from Earth One. Very confusing. Yes. But, and I was confused about what his powers were. I'm like, is he Sun Man? Like, what is he doing? He absorbs energy from the sun. He uses that to fly, mm -hmm. he uses that for projectiles. Mm -hmm. He is Sun Man. He's Sun There's Man. a new show going to be spinned off from him, too. So that's <laughs> there you go. why he's in here. Yeah, and he's dating Leonard Snart from Earth X. I'm into it. You know, I can't say no when you look at me like that. That is why I look at you like that. Evil Oliver was just scary, menacing. He pulled it off. Oliver from the High Castle. They yeah. need to call back to that. <laughs> that was and, funny. And then you have Nazi uh, General, General Kara. Kara. Yeah. Overgirl? Overgirl is what they were calling her. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's a name that works. I just, I think that Kara, like the actress that plays Kara is just way too sweet to like actually be menacing. Yeah. Like she, when she was trying to deliver her lines and be scary, I was just like, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Even with the mask She's trying on. She's to be bad. <laughs> Peace is overrated. Okay, one thing that comes up in part one that you almost miss, mm -hmm. uh, it's the overexcited uh, girl that talks to Barry at his wedding. Right. And she's like super excited to be at this wedding. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's Barry and Iris's kid from the future. I think it's Don Allen, yeah. aka one half of the Tornado Twins. Don and Don. Oh! Then we saw the return of some familiar faces. We've got mm -hmm. Eobard Thawne, he shows up as Reverse Flash and yeah. he's working with the Nazis. We've also got Tommy Merlin, that was a surprise cameo. It was nice to see him back. And Quentin Lance was a Nazi leader. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have super sassy, rule-abiding Leonard Snart, my uh, favorite. Yes. No, I'm Leonard Snart, but you can call me Leo. That is a fantastic outfit. Did you make that? I think the best version of Snart that there is. Like he, <laughs> he just had a lot of really good lines and he was super fun and he was very helpful. Yeah. And it was just nice to see him interacting with everyone. Like when he was interacting and like he gives Barry a hug. Yeah. And <laughs> There's one on one scenes yeah. with him with a lot of different characters. Mm -hmm. They didn't have that for anybody else. Yeah, he like took the campiness level like up to 10. Mm -hmm. It was incredible. He's just like, I hate fire. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I also really liked Alex Danvers a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't watch a lot of Supergirl, but this crossover made me love her like really? she was one of my favorite characters yeah. i love the part where both her and sarah rip their dresses yeah and get started like time to kick ass yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well punching nazis that was definitely as satisfying as i imagined it would be so snart was my favorite character but i think that the mm -hmm. mvp of the crossover was oliver what do you think i have to agree yeah. I, well it is come on it's Arrowverse. <laughs> It is his verse. <laughs> yeah, he infiltrated the base posing as the Fuhrer and had a badass solo Nazi fight scene by himself. Then he kills his own doppelganger because he knows he's too powerful to be left alive. And also he was totally killing it in that suit. Barry, when you're 
When you're up there and you look into her eyes. Okay, who were the best team ups and pairings in this crossover? Sarah and Alex. Absolutely, like that was fun, and just like even the awkward jokes after like the mm -hmm. the hookup, and she's like, Alex. They're gonna come back to this, I hope, but I have a feeling it'll be in DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, but I feel like I they're so. gonna come back to this somehow, some way. And there are so many scenes of them just like kicking ass together, like yeah. in tandem, like shooting guns and beating up Nazis. It was great. I also loved the Felicity and Iris team up when yeah. they were the only ones left not taken prisoner by the Nazis and they were hiding in the vents of Star Labs and making John McClane jokes. It was great. Lead the way, McClane. Okay, and best cameo, what do you got? Wally West, because we saw him for exactly five minutes, but he had an awesome little fight section in the church scene yeah. where he just like kind of slides around, turns and then throws a bullet in the Nazi's gun and it explodes. Yeah. It's really good. But I then, loved him. Yeah, but then he catches an arrow and explodes and he's gone again. I have to go with the Atom for my favorite part. Um, not just the cameo, but my favorite part in the entire episode. Really? Yeah, this whole thing. He was incredible. I don't care if it's just Brandon <laughs> Routh. Yes, it, it, I do have I a little Brandon bit. I love Brandon Routh. I have a soft spot in my heart for <laughs> Superman Returns now, but still, Adam's intro was awesome. I'm trying. I'm trying, but... Mm, it's off, Mingala! <laughs> Okay, let's talk about the good. So I really liked seeing all of the heroes work together. I thought they had great team chemistry. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of fun together. Yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah, the shots of everybody together, even if it was little scenes mm -hmm. where just the camera moves from person to person to person. Oh God, yeah, that ends on somebody. Where they're all walking out in the fourth episode. Mm -hmm. Love it. The young version of me is just crying with joy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if they had this during the years of Smallville, if we had Arrowverse like this? I would be screaming. Also, the action, fight oh scenes. Oh my god, yes. What? Oh, what? 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 Oh, what? Mm, that's a green lollipop. Mm, mm, that's delicious and nutritious. Also, they really nailed the humor. Like, the tone that they set for the crossover was really good. Like, mm -hmm. it's hard to balance all of them because, like, sometimes Arrow's slightly darker and Flash is more lighthearted and then Legends is just ridiculous. So they kind of found this happy medium where everyone's just making jokes and having fun. Mm -hmm. And I thought the tone was excellent. Also, we talked about the production earlier and just how hard it is to shoot something like this yeah. with these characters. And one way they got away with it was these masks. I wanted to hate them, but I love those masks and Very I actually clever. want one. I want one of those masks. Oh, it was yeah. pretty clever because obviously, you know, it's not the actor in there and right. they need to have a second unit production for this stuff. Mm -hmm. Like how Supergirl going to fight other over girl and not have two Melissa's? You need someone with well a done. mask. Well done. That was a good way to do it. Clever. I want that mask. It was clever. Okay, let's talk about the bad now. Um, that CG uh, red tornado fight. Yeah. I couldn't tell you what's going on in that fight. What was even happening? I have no idea. Nope. It's just like Don't know. things flying around and like you barely get a sense of what red tornado even is. And you're just like, this was this shoehorned in? Is this like a glorified Easter egg? Oh, it wasn't shoehorned because that took a lot of time to do, <laughs> still do that scene. <laughs> also, at the very end when they have all the heroes, like, it's like they ran out of money and the CG on Supergirl was really bad and her face looked super warped. Oh my God. Yeah. Just look at that shot again and you're just like, what's wrong with Supergirl? She's melting. <laughs> and then next up, Wally still didn't get to do anything. Why didn't he come back for the final fight? I don't know. They sent him off to go babysit Joe and Joe's baby mama and that was it. He disappeared. Iris has Wally's number. Like, just text Wally. Did you see him? He was sliding across the floor. I'm sad Wally's not in it too, but 20 characters you gotta deal with here. You gotta balance it somewhere. Yeah, that's true. And someone's not gonna make the cut. I don't know why it was Wally, but hey. Okay, so this is not necessarily a bad thing thematically, but Stein dying really gutted me. It was, oh, so sad. Like the funeral yeah. and uh, everything with Jax and Jax and his family. And I can't. The stakes had to be raised. Yeah. You, you yeah. knew they kept doing this over and over for years with Stein. Like he's gonna die. We're gonna kill him off at yeah. some point. And they finally did it. But since this is Arrowverse, no one stays dead for long. That's true. 
we will see, I guarantee you, we're going to see Stein again, and then we can just delete this video if he says he's not coming back over to the show. <laughs> Thank you, Jefferson. For the adventure of a lifetime. <laughs> This is a big one for me, but Barry let Thon go unscathed. Like, didn't hurt him at mm. all. What the hell? Just maim him. Like, break his arm. I don't know. Hey, hey children, children. They could, they could. Oliver gets it. Play that clip again. I'm gonna kill you. See, he knows when someone has to die. Okay, let's move on. Finally, there's no Superman. Yeah, they mentioned him for one line. Kara says, my cousin will look for me. No, the hell he didn't. I understand why they didn't do it, and it's actually a good reason, too, because honestly, you have Superman, he's your deus ex OP. moment the second he comes in there. Superman OP. He kill. he wipes everyone out, end of story, credits roll. Yeah. So you leave him out, but at the same time, no sign of Superman at all. When Where this he is at? a big problem. This isn't just a <laughs> tiny, contained, yeah. like, Smallville story. This is a huge issue. Mm -hmm. No sign. They're like, hey, Kara, do you mind hitting up? <laughs> I, I, again, another reason why, too, because Kara, this is her show. Yes. Okay, let's start off with best moments. What do you got, Chastity? I really like the church fight scene. Mm -hmm. Just like, that's the first scene in the crossover where you're like, shit goes down and everyone's going hand to hand combat. And like, they're like, where did these Nazis come from? It was crazy. Did you think it was better than Defenders? Yes. <laughs> that's not, that's fine, that's, that's fine. I yeah. loved it. I also love the end where we have Barry going and getting Diggle really fast and then Diggle throws up and then marries him and Iris together. And then it turns into a double wedding. Yeah. <laughs> double <laughs> wedding. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please kiss your brides. I got the Supergirl catch, where Steel catches Supergirl and mm -hmm. says, I figured it'd take the man of steel to catch the girl of steel. So that's an homage to the cover of Crisis on Infinite Earths, number seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, where Superman's holding Supergirl. It's pretty cool. Okay, lastly, let's talk about the funniest moments and lines. Okay, there are so many references in parts one through four, but mine has to be where Iris talks to Kara and says, Hey, 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 come with me if you want to live. It goes from that straight into a fight scene with Metallo. Mm -hmm. Okay, well done, guys. I love that. I love this line where Alex is talking to Kara after her hookup with Sarah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? Do you know, do you know what I did? Uh, not the specifics, no. And look, I had a one night stand. And I love this line where Heatwave roasts a Nazi and then gets scolded by Snart. Excuse me, you can't just go around roasting people. Why not? You ever heard of due process, rule of law? No. All right, that's it for us over here, everybody. Let us know what you thought of Crisis on Earth X and what was your favorite moments in the comment section down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Why didn't you kill him, Barry? Okay. Why? All right. He's bad. Goodbye. Okay,